Today, the dude and I are running Hunter's Creek in the ultra Lone Peak mids, testing them out for another good run this year. This is what we think so far. I bought the Lone Peak mids to protect my ankle. I've had a lot of ankle trouble, and I was hoping that the mid would give me that little extra support that I've needed. It's not as much as a brace or as much as a hiking boot, but it does give just a little bit extra and helps in that rougher terrain. Had plenty of miles on them so far and found the waterproofings work well. I haven't had any issues with it yet. I haven't had any cold toes, cold feet, or anything. Just good, dry, warm feet in my summer and fall runs so far. Done a couple wet, rainy, and super damp, flooded trails. One of the things that all of the ultra shoes have is foot shape, a larger and wider toe box that gives your toes a little more room to wiggle around. It is something that took me a little while to get used to, but once I did get used to it, I found it to be more comfortable. At first, I thought that I lacked control, especially in more slick or technical trails. But once I figured it out, kind of had the feeling and had a quite a few miles in them, I started to really like it. Felt I had a more comfortable shoe that I was able to wear longer and stay on the trail longer, which is really the ultimate thing to be comfortable for as long as you can. That combined with the zero drop, really got the miles in, got used to it. This is one of my favorite shoes that I've used. Very comfortable, but it's different. So, <clears throat> shoes are a very personal thing. Besides the interesting fit, which is a plus and a minus, depending on who you talk to, um, one of the negatives I've found so far is that I have a hard time getting my feet into these. I really have to loosen the laces down beyond halfway. The plus to that is they do keep my feet firmly in place once I'm in them. Just a little bit annoying to start using, or just to put on. Besides that, obviously them being waterproof, they keep my feet dry, but also in warmer, drier conditions, my feet are sweating because they do breathe, but they don't breathe great. Uh, what do you expect for a waterproof shoe? Your feet are gonna get wet from sweat instead of uh, rainwater. So, those are the two negatives I've had so far. I'm probably gonna find more as I continue to use them, but I like them. Another nice feature that I have yet to use is the gator attachments. It has a few places to hook your gator, as well as some Velcro above the heel in order to connect it to your shoe if you're out running in snow. Keep the training going in winter. The stone guard technology so far seems great. I don't typically feel many things poking through the sole of these shoes. I've used these things in all different scenarios, everything from sharp rocks in the whites to lots of wet, rooty systems in here in Western New York. And so far, I haven't noticed too many times where I feel any discomfort in the sole of my foot. So the sole seems good on these shoes. The traction has been pretty good so far. Um, they have a pretty nice layout of lugs on the bottom of these, which seems to work well in wet, rooty conditions as well as dry and rocky stuff. I do wonder if the material, the softer rubber, is gonna wear quicker. I've read quite a few reviews where it does wear quicker, but so far I'm having good luck with it. I think it's gonna take uh, some getting used to for a lot of people that haven't used a shoe that's like this before. That being said, I would recommend trying it out. If you're looking for a lightweight, mid-high shoe, there aren't very many of them and they make this in a waterproof, a non-waterproof version. If it, you're gonna be using it in the fall and in the winter, go waterproof. If you live somewhere that's wet, go waterproof. And if you're running mostly in the summer and drier climates, get that mesh version. I would recommend trying out this shoe. I think it will take a little while for most people to get used to, but judging from my experience, I think a lot of people will like it after they try it out. Um, a lot of people that I know have had questions about this shoe. Like, is it comfortable? Does the mid-high the mid -high actually help out your ankles? Does it give you more support? What do you think about the foot-shaped toe box? All these things combined make for what I consider a fairly unique shoe for trail running. But 
I would give it a shot. So far, I like them. I'd recommend them. And let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you use them, if you like them, and what you think. Cheers.